it's Veronica Drake, and I'm here with your weekly divine download. Now, you know what I'm going to say. Say it with me. One size does not fit all. Do not take this and make it fit into your life. If you listen to it and it resonates, boom, it's for you. If it doesn't, move along. Don't waste your time. But here's the thing about these messages. You might find you need to listen to this a few times. Maybe even you'll pass it by and come back a few weeks later. But I promise you, when you are looking for the answer, any of these divine downloads will have something for you. So go ahead, peruse the library. Oh, and if you're not subscribed to my channel, first of all, why not? Because when spirit speaks to me, I speak to you. So subscribe, subscribe, share, share. There, I said it. This week's message, you ready? Here we go. This week will have you on your toes. You will want to practice mental agility. Ooh. So think gymnastics of the mind. You want to develop a flexibility in your thinking. The more you hang on to something, the more stuck in your space you are, the more rigid everything becomes. So you want to think about taking that one thing that you keep turning over and over and over in your head. Maybe you're reflecting on a past experience. Maybe you're lamenting or worrying about the future. Maybe you're just an anxious person and it keeps going over and over. You want to create an attitude of flexibility. Think of your mind like this. It's like flexible, like gum. It's pulled apart. There are all strands to it. There's nothing to it and it's sticky. Okay. And so the sticky part, as long as it doesn't touch anything, it doesn't get on anything. And so you can pull it apart. You can make it pliable, you can make it flexible, just don't, talk, just don't touch one thought to another. So in other words, what happens is you get this one thought in your head, raise your hand if this is you, and you attach it to every other thought in your head. And all of a sudden, you've got a sticky, gooey mess because one thing is touching another thing, is touching another thing, and now you've got a crazy ass mess going on. So, well, let me be clear. Spirit doesn't say crazy ass mess, but spirit knows it's how I deliver the message. So it's totally cool. Don't send me emails about that. Anyway, back to the message. A little tip that spirit wants to give you. Stop, take inventory, look at what you have running through your mind, jot it down if you need to, and notice what is it that you need to sprint away from? What is it that you need to hurry up and get away from? There's one or two things inside of you that you just wanna let go, but you're not willing. These are the sticky things that are all over you. Writing them down will help you see and notice what it is that's keeping you stuck. As you allow your toxic, sticky thoughts to take flight, begin to understand that as they are taking off, leaving you because you've chosen that, you will need to vocalize what's different. Because trust me, people will know something is different. And so it will be in your best interest to keep this area, the throat chakra, clear. And the way that you communicate with clarity and ease is you engage the heart chakra. You turn to your heart. You can even put your chin down if you need to. Look at your heart space and ask, what would my heart say about this situation? and then bring it up to your throat and let it come out your mouth. So the process is you write down what's sticky, you notice what you don't want, and then you go to your heart, you ask how to vocalize it, and then you speak it. 
This is a process that you will want to work on time and time and time again, because there's probably a million different things in your thought process that no longer serve you, but you don't know what to do with them. So maybe you're anxious about finances. And so you want to write that down and you want to say that sticky, that anxious sticky gets all over everything right? Because if you worry about finances for this, you worry about it for that, you worry about it for this. And what does that get you? It just gets you more worry. What you want to do is you want to write it down. You want to ask your heart, what can I do about the sticky finances 